started construction work in North Dakota on May 7, 1957. And I worked in the same construction company until December 12, 1999, and then retired, which is going on 15 years, I guess now. It started out as a joke. I made a tree for a couple in Henning who were getting married and we figured they should have a family tree. So I made the crazy thing and we set it up in their yard while they were away on their honeymoon, put lights on it. After that, someone suggested the tree should have a dog. So I made the dog. After that, I thought, well, maybe I should make something a little bigger and better. And I settled on making that big foot. And everything else is after that. Well, the, the inner frame, the heavier part, is uh, iron that people give me. A lot of times it'll be old boat lifts or docks or most anything, a lot of pipes. And the uh, rods, to make the shapes, I have to buy that. And the outside, I, I brought a lot home when I was still working, but my son still does that kind of work, so he brings home these scraps and the lawnmower blades I get from all over. While I'm working on a project, I don't want to start a second one until I'm finished with the first, otherwise something gets left. So I'll be thinking of different things, but when it comes time to build something else, then by then I'm going through several ideas, whatever works out then. Well, I, I get out here almost every day, sometimes not all day, but at least for a little while. It definitely helps. Someone should do, everyone should do something. Just sitting watching TV or sleeping isn't the answer. I'm working on a sheep to go along with the uh, shepherd that I just finished. And where they're going, I'm not sure. The community is very supportive of what I do, that, uh, enough so that they will help and even help pour cement when we need a base for something and help to move it, help painting. Well, that, uh, that was started by about a, a dozen people who needed, a, they needed a, a convenience store in town and so they got together and, and built it and thought they should have some thing around there and so I moved in a couple of items and and, uh, and uh, as I've built them I put in more and more and, and they finally decided to call it Nyberg Park. It was kind of a gradual thing. I have a, a daughter who is an astronaut, and I made an astronaut and put in the park, but I think that's about 14 years ago when that happened. A few of the sculptures are, are made of lawnmower blades, and, and the way that started was a neighbor asked if I needed old lawnmower blades. Well, I turned nothing down and said, sure. So one day here, there's a whole bunch of blades laying on my step, and now I had to figure out what to do with them. It wasn't enough to build anything, so then I had to start saving more blades, rounding up blades, and finally decided on the elephant. And the reason for the elephant, or one of the reasons, was that there's no small parts on the elephant. A lawnmower blade is real hard to work with, so big legs, big body, everything was pretty gradual bends. That's the way it came about. I built that big foot, I had it in here, and, and uh, no one knew. For the, I worked, actually, I worked on it for two and a half years in just my spare time, an hour now and then. And uh, I didn't tell anyone until about the last half a year. The wife didn't even know. I, I thought uh, early on, if I would have told somebody, they'd put me in a straitjacket, building a stupid foot. Pretty crazy, but now I can get by with anything. There, a lot of them are weird. 
like a coffee cup, you know, standing on the stream of coffee. And they're all kind of silly, I guess. I always liked making things where I didn't have to duplicate it. Repetition isn't something I like. I really don't have a favorite. A lot of folks will ask me, but uh, I don't. They they're all have their special meaning. They've all taken quite a while to build and so on. If there was one that was more difficult than the rest, I think it would have to be that square knot. And whether that was just because it was one of the early ones or it is just that difficult, I can't really explain that, but it, it was quite challenging. Well, this, this square knot right here was probably one of the most difficult ones I had to build. And I had to start in two places, at the bottom of course, and then get the twists to look the same from both sides, which was quite challenging. My son suggested that I build a football, and this is what I came up with. And the thing is about 16 feet tall, and the ball itself is made of 699 lawnmower blades. We've had watermelon day in Vining, a third Saturday in August. And it was several years, the older ladies around town would ask me, uh, when I was going to make a watermelon. Well, I, I had thought of different things, but I couldn't really, wasn't satisfied with whatever I was thinking of. So finally I decided to make that. That's the reason for it. It's, it's good that people are interested in it and they appreciate it. A certain amount of people anyway, even tell me that they appreciate what I'm doing. So it makes it worthwhile that way.